Hey guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. Providing fresh, clean drinking water is critical for your Boas health. But people often have misconceptions about a Boas water supply. For example, should you be providing filtered water or distilled water? What are the best receptacles in order in which to provide water? And so today I'm going to answer some of those questions. I've also seen a supposed hack that's been discussed quite a bit online in the last year or so involving copper. So I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on that. So be sure to stay tuned. First topic I want to address is what source should you get your boas water from? And a lot of people have this idea that they need to go out and buy water for their boa or they need to treat the water in some way that they get out of the tap in order to make it safe for their boa. And the truth is for the vast majority of people, this is completely unnecessary. So I give my boas, all of them get tap water untreated right out of the faucet. I have really good water that comes from the Sierra Nevada is the source of the water. And it's actually a lot better than a lot of bottled waters. So if you live in an area where your tap water is safe for humans to drink, then it's perfectly fine for your boas. And in fact, buying bottled water, you know, other than, you know, the obvious environmental issues with all the plastic uh, may actually be worse for your boas, depending on the source of it. So I would say the vast majority of us do not buy bottled water for your boa. Do not worry about filtering the water. And, you know, again, as long as the water is fine for humans to drink, it's perfectly fine for boas. I understand that there are some unfortunate people that might live in an area where the water is not safe to drink. And in that case, you would definitely want to buy either bottled water or treat the water in a way to make it safe, you know, make it safe for humans. And that will be at the level where it's going to be safe for boas. But you don't have to worry about any special water. I'm not quite sure why people think this. Maybe they've been brainwashed by these ads for the bottled water. Um, you know, personally, I think bottled water in many cases should be banned because of the environmental consequences. But, you know, that's a subject for another video. Now that we've discussed the source of the water for your boa, what are you going to put it in? And this is another area where sometimes simpler is better. Although there are numerous solutions that you can come up with, the solution that I use are these simple plastic bowls. And these bowls are just standard size pet food bowls, about eight inches in diameter, about three inches deep. They come in lots of different colors. And I actually get these at the dollar store for the price of a buck and a quarter. You know, due to inflation, it's no longer the dollar store, it's the buck and a quarter store, but that's the subject of another rant. So they come in these different colors. You can, if you want to use blue for your male boas and, you know, pink for your female boas, you can do something like that. You can color code them by type of boa, or you can just not color code them. It's up to you. So these bowls, I think it's something like 60 fluid ounces, it says on the bottom. Anyway, it does hold a huge amount of water, but it's enough for a boa. Um, you know, some people will provide much larger tubs of water in their boa's enclosure, large enough for the boa to get in and swim. And although this can be okay in many situations, it's a lot more maintenance to keep up with. Typically your boa will go in there and defecate in the bowl. You'll have to take it out and clean it and sterilize it. Um, these smaller bowls, are usually not as much of a problem, although it's not that infrequent that a boa might poop in the bowl, which would require immediate cleaning. So it's not necessary for your boa to be able to submerge itself as long as the humidity is high enough. Oftentimes, if I want to soak a boa, I'm going to take it to a separate tub, soak it in that tub, and then return it to its home enclosure. Uh, and these work just fine for the most of the boas that I have as far as the sub-adult and adult boas. I also, in some instances, I will use the, these metal bowls, and the metal bowls have a slightly different um, uh, shape to them. They're a little more tip resistant, and they have kind of a wire gasket on the bottom that holds it snug to the bottom of the cage. It's much harder for a boa to tip one of those bowls over. Uh, the vast majority of boas I have have never tried to tip these over. You know, occasionally some boas might do this, especially during the breeding season and they're really active. And in those instances, I'll use a metal bowl with the rubber gasket. The metal bowls, however, they're a lot more expensive. They're also a lot harder to keep clean because I've noticed that you get this kind of buildup on the metal. 
and you have to really scrub it to get it off whereas these uh, plastic bowls clean really easily I just use basic dish soap and you know clean them by hand with hot water you know at least once a week and they stay nice and clean and so I would recommend while we're at it I'd recommend that you change your boas water at least once a week if not twice a week and when you change it you want to take it out you want to clean it uh, with dish soap or you know a suitable soap uh, hot water get it nice and clean put in fresh water put it back in for your boa it's really important that boas have fresh water sometimes if the water is really old they don't want to drink it you know and if a boa isn't properly hydrated it's going to have a lot of issues uh, you know such as skin shedding issues and just generally going to be a much less healthy boa so the plastic bowls were great for my sub-adult and adult boas but for my baby boas and my boas you know two years or younger I typically keep them in a rack system such as uh, one that to hold these these are 16 uh, quart Sterilite tubs and I've seen commercially available tubs that have this little plastic um, indentation in the bottom and you can set a water dish in there but for some reason they seem to always put the uh, dish receptacle right in the middle of the cage or the right in the middle of the tub which seems like a really odd place for it you think it would be over on the side because it's kind of right there in the middle uh, you know it kind of impedes the movement of the boa but anyway my own system is to use these 16 ounce deli cups for water for my smaller boas and so they don't get knocked over I use a second one as a cup holder you can see this is uh, connected to this tub basically I just melt little holes in the top I thread a zip tie in there and then I attach the zip tie to holes which have been melted in the tub these are really ventilation holes but they it's also good for holding the water dish receptacle and then you can just set that in there with water and it can't be knocked over you know sometimes the boas will go up and soak in there and then you just take it out you know every week when you're doing your maintenance you can uh, wash it out thoroughly and replace it or you can just recycle it and put a new one in there typically I use these you know three or four wash cycles and then I move on and use a fresh one and they're relatively inexpensive you can buy uh, boxes of like 500 of them on Amazon for a fairly reasonable price and this solution has worked really well for me for giving water to my uh, baby and sub adult boas the last water related topic I wanted to address is something that's been circulating online in the last year or so a lot of people have asked me about this and this is using copper in your boas water dish to prevent uh, bacterial growth and for health reasons and so the idea is you put a piece of copper in the Bose water dish and copper is a natural antimicrobial so it will keep your Bose water dish clean in addition copper is a nutrient that's necessary for Bose health so it will give you some copper that the Bose need and so first of all copper certainly is an antimicrobial agent you know this has been known about for thousands of years actually and it will prevent microbial growth However, if your bowl is getting so dirty that you actually need copper in there to prevent the growth, you really need to reevaluate how often you're washing the bowls. Okay, so the type of biofilms that will accumulate typically will take weeks to, uh, to grow, and this is what the copper will inhibit. Uh, so really, the most effective way and the recommended way for dealing with a Bose water dish is just to clean it on a regular basis. You know, adding the copper in there might prevent bacterial growth over the long term but it's still going to get really funky um, you know and if you're cleaning it often enough like you should be the copper really isn't going to make a difference so I would say that it really makes no sense to add copper to your Bose water dish in order to prevent the bacterial growth as far as the micronutrient yes that's certainly true bows need copper just as humans do um, but copper is present in trace amounts in virtually all food items including rodents so boas are going to get plenty of copper that they need from their rodent and bird diet they don't need water they don't need copper in their water dish and it's also unclear exactly how much of the copper is dissolving off into the water that's being ingested by the boa so it doesn't really make a lot of sense in that regard either if on the other hand a boa accidentally or purposely ingested the piece of copper in the water dish that would probably be a bad thing because you know copper is a metal it's really sharp it's probably going to do some damage going through your boa's digestive system 
And copper is also toxic in large amounts. It causes toxicity to the GI tract. So you definitely don't want your boa ingesting that piece of copper that you have in your boa's water dish. So I've also heard people talking about what, what type of copper they use. You know, again, I don't recommend using copper in your boa's water dish. I've seen people using copper wire. They actually strip a piece of copper wire and throw that in there. Um, you know, again, definitely not a good idea. It's kind of sharp and it could damage, cause injury to your boa. Really unnecessary. Uh, and you should be wa washing your water dish on a regular basis anyway. I've also seen people throwing pennies in the water, which is actually even worse because, you know, pennies and other coins and money are just filthy. Um, you know, they're touched by, you know, thousands and thousands of people have their germs on there. So you, that's the last thing you want to put in your boa's water dish if you want to keep it clean. The other issue is that pennies haven't really been made of copper for over 40 years now. The last copper penny, which is really bronze, is 95% copper, you know, 5% tin, was made in 1982. And since 1982, pennies are largely zinc, about 98% zinc, with just a very thin layer of copper. So they're not even really copper anymore. Uh, you know, so even if it made sense to put copper in the Boa's water dish, using most pennies wouldn't even do the job. So again, I don't recommend putting copper of any type in your Boa's water dish. I know a lot of people are going to do this. Uh, there's probably a lot of you guys are convinced that it's doing lots of good things for your boa. You know, as always, I welcome your experience. I'm not trying to tell anybody what to do. I'm telling you what works for me and what makes sense to me uh, as far as the best uh, way to proceed. And, you know, using copper in the water dish, it just doesn't make sense. But, you know, if you have any experience, if you want to comment on it below, I would be really appreciative and, you know, definitely want to hear your perspective on the whole copper in the water dish question. I hope you found this video helpful and it answered some of your questions about Boa's drinking water. As always, feel free to shoot me any questions or comments you may have. Thanks for watching and enjoy your Boa's.